Americans United was founded mainly by prominent religious leaders and journalists because of the concern that religious interests, powerful ones, were about to take over public schools, continue to restrict women's access to contraceptives, and censor material based on the religious beliefs that held sway in a certain community. What is religious freedom? I mean, these are the core questions that have propelled Americans United's work. For, for 70 years. Religious freedom is the right to believe or not and worship or not according to the dictates of your conscience. It is not the right to impose those beliefs on other people or to control other people's behavior in the name of your own faith. Yet that's what we're seeing. Americans United is an organization that is a thought leader when it comes to the measured movement forward in creating a more just world that includes a separation between church and state. One of the great things about what Americans United does is it doesn't believe that it can act alone. We are in so many coalitions. We have so many supportive sister and brother organizations that we work with. For the Anti-Defamation League, as a organization founded by a religious minority, the Jewish community, it's incredibly important to be able to promote notions of equality within religious diversity and to be able to have allies. Allies like Americans United for Separation of Church and State have been essential for us. The mission of the feminist majority and Americans United intersect because frequently our opponents are the same. If we're gonna be a pluralistic society and if women are ever to have equality, we have to have a separation of church and state. There have been many cases where religious values as they've been espoused by one voice or another have been utilized to actually circumvent other civil rights protections in our society. Americans United have worked very, very hard to address those concerns, and the NAACP has seen where those concerns, in some cases, can have a very racist or otherwise discriminatory impact. Working with Americans United has really provided us a unique opportunity to educate our constituency about the First Amendment, about the separation of church and state, as well as their rights as Americans. The work we do here, I think, affects all Americans. We deal with public education, we deal with women's rights and reproductive freedom, access to health care, we deal with immigration, we deal with basic questions of discrimination, basic questions of equality and access. Americans United is incredibly thoughtful when it comes to the cases that they bring, the issues that they advocate in the state legislatures across the country, and I think that is what sets AU apart. There's so many different combinations and intersections between religious freedom, the First Amendment, and equality issues and discrimination issues now that probably were not anticipated by the founders of Americans United. But to have Americans United as a stalwart voice recognizing the intersections is incredibly important. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act established the idea that you should not be disadvantaged religiously by government action. Uh, what has happened is people have turned it around from being a shield to a sword. Uh, actually imposing their views on others in such a way that allows them to violate otherwise applicable laws, like civil rights laws. The good of all of us, we don't want religious freedom to have a negative connotation. So I think one of our big battles going forward is to reclaim that word and to fight for religious freedom and to have people ex understand that religious freedom means the right to believe or not, but not the right to harm other people. I know that Americans United has been around a long time, but I don't think it's ever been more essential than it is today. Uh, I don't think it's ever been more important to have an organization whose sole purpose is out there defending the separation of church and state, which I believe is one of the fundamental principles of this country, but has never been so under attack as, as it is today. I don't do this work for myself. I do it for my children. I do it for their children. I do it for generations not yet born. When the founder of this organization met with Eleanor Roosevelt at the White House, she said to him, 
we'll have to fight this battle for church-state separation over again in every generation. But the future of any movement, including this one, depends on what younger people understand about it, the significance that they ascribe to it, and the way in which they want creatively to work on it. Thank you.